my name is Rachel and I'm here today to do the LGBTQIAP plus book tag. I'm so glad that I got that all in one sentence without looking at it. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of pride clothes because I don't do colours. But there's this book that's gay in the background. That is my extent of themed video. Anyway, this tag was originally created by Danica Lee Ellis, who I will link down below. Also, some other awesome people who've done this tag. Also, I was kind of tagged by Tealy and Bookbindings. She like mentioned that anyone she mentioned in the video should do this tag, and it's a really cool tag. So you should go watch hers. I'll link it down below. Also, Adriana from Perpetual Pages did this tag. Kate Hickey, Cece from Problems of a Book Nerd. Just yeah. I will put them all below and you can go watch their videos because they're all very great. But I'm just gonna get started. So question number one is how do you identify? So I personally identify as bisexual. That is the word that I found that said who I was and related to me and that's what I came out as and that is just how I see myself. However, I think maybe I am actually pan because I am actually attracted to a lot of people who are like gender neutral and also been attracted to a drag queen on RuPaul's Drag Race recently, which I wasn't expecting. Um, Violet Chachki is really hot. So actually I think I might be pan, but I also just relate to the word bisexual, like it's just, that's the word that I found and that was like my word, so yeah. And just like kind of a sexuality that isn't straight is what I'm gonna say. Question number two is what are some of your favorite LGBTQIAP plus books and authors? 100 Nights of Hero by Isabel Greenberg, which is a graphic novel, which is like my favorite graphic novel of all time. You should go read it, it's amazing. Um, and it's about these two women who fall in love and then they like tell stories to try and make this guy leave them alone, basically. And it's just, it's so beautiful. Isabel Greenberg is like one of the cutest people in the world and I love her. Um, then we have Becky Albertalli. I have two of her books here because I've read them both this month. She also wrote Simon vs. Thomas Safety's Agenda, which is my favourite of her books. These two were like four stars, but Simon was five and love that book. The Colour Purple by Alice Walker, which is just one of my favourite books of all time. As I Descended by Robin Talley, which is a Macbeth retelling, which is really, really cool. Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin, which I read last year and thoroughly enjoyed. That is a really good book and a classic and written by a homosexual black man in like, I think it was written in like the 60s or something and in America. So I am just so in awe of the fact that he wrote that book and got it published. Like, how did that happen? When, with all like the hatred going on, how did that happen? I'm glad that it happened. I'm so glad it happened. But how did it happen? I don't know. Anyway, some more graphic novels. Uh, Rat Queens has uh, some LGBTQIA plus characters. Also, Scott Pilgrim, the Scott Pilgrim series as a whole has some. Um, Fun Home by, oh my God, what is her name? Fun Home, Al Alison Bechdel, Alison Bechdel. Fun home, really good graphic novel. This is a graphic memoir and it's just about her like coming out and talking to her parents and like her father as a figure in her life and it's really, really cool and would recommend. Question number three is, how often do you talk about LGBTQIA people books on your channel and what videos of yours would you recommend people start with if they're looking for LGBTQIA plus content? Um, I mean, it's kind of just scattered through all of my videos because that like that, that's who I am so I will like mention it sporadically whenever it comes up um, I do have some LGBT plus recommendations videos so I'll link that in the cards I also uh, took part in Prideathon last year and did like a wrap up and stuff for that. I made a TBR for Pride Month because I'm reading all queer stuff for Pride this month and there's also going to be a video on uh, TV and film that I really like 
that falls under the umbrella of LGBTQIA plus because I have basically had my reading derailed this month by Please Like Me, which I swear I watched all four seasons in like a week and I can't believe that they've said they're not making any more because I actually need more. And also RuPaul's Drag Race, which I started like three days ago, never watched it before so obsessed with it. I've already finished season seven and I'm like on episode five of season eight and I'm just, oh, I'm just having feelings. <laughs> so many feelings. So actually my reading has been derailed, but yeah, I'm gonna make a video talking about that soon just so that at least I've got something to wrap up this month. Although I have read some books. I have, I've read these two Vaki Albatelli books. I think that's it so far, but well, anyway. But the TV shows were still queer, so I'm counting it. Next one, question number four. Who are your favorite LGBTQIA plus booktubers? This is a long list. I went through my thing and wrote some down. So I'm just gonna say their names, basically, because yeah, I can't talk about them all without this video being like a thousand minutes long. So yeah, go and check all of them out. They're amazing, here we go. George Lester, Simon Savage, Ollie Bliss, Chris Vigilante, Tea Leaves and Bookbindings, Perpetual Pages, Problems of a Book Nerd, Capricious Helen, Cats and Camera, Anna Reads, Common Spence, Kate Hickey, Rogan Shannon, and Kathy Trittat. Her name is really hard to say. I don't know how to say that. I should have looked it up. All of those people are amazing. Question number five is, when was the first time you encountered an LGBTQIA plus character in fiction? Mine were not in books. I can't remember the first time I encountered um, a character in a book because I actually don't think I encountered one for a very, very long time. Like a really, really long time. So maybe it was Sugar Rush because I read the book of that, but I think I even watched the TV show of that first. So I don't know. But the first one I encountered 100% um, who's fictional is Xena Warrior Princess. I used to watch Xena Warrior Princess with my dad all the time and I think I was like eight maybe and <laughs> when it used to come on it comes on with Xena Warrior Princess getting dressed right and my dad used to always <laughs> as the like <laughs> credits are going on he would be like four four and he basically trained me to do that with him so I think that my dad might have trained me to fancy girls by being attracted to Xena Warrior Princess himself and just <laughs> making me aware that she was getting dressed at the time. That's my theory anyway. Loved Xena Warrior Princess. Also Willow and Tara in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I find her a very representative person of myself because I think of her as bisexual because she was attracted and in love with Oz before she was with Tara. So that's what I think. However, yeah, it doesn't really give us any sort of label for her. But I'm just gonna say that because that's how I identify and I basically identified with her because she's Willow and I loved Buffy and oh my God, Buffy. Anyway, question number six is tag people. If you haven't done this tag, please go do it. It's super fun. Um, Yeah, if I mentioned your channel and you haven't done this tag, Go do it, it's, it's fun and it's gay and it's pride and you should go celebrate because pride is fun. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.